Welcome to the part six of this course where uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you create the event section of your restaurant website, right? The event section is basically known uh, to host and to list all the events that you as a restaurant will be participating in or will be conducting, right? It's super important because people will be able to get aware of what you're doing and what your upcoming uh, events are so that they can become a part of it. This can also become a promotional page so that people can come and see uh, the promotions or you know the events, the listings, the future happenings that are going to do are going to happen with your restaurants. People can become a part of it, right? This events is super important section and I believe that as a restaurant business, you should always have something like this. So what do we do in this is very simple, right? It's, it's going to have a simple uh, top section but again it's going to we're going to follow that simple dark structure where we are going to showcase the image but the image is going to be in a way that it feels as if it is now blended at at the background right and we're going to use uh, a similar structure to catering and about section that we've already created now we are going to list all the events that's going to happen right Events normally have an event banner, which basically means that you're going to showcase what the event is all about, a bit, a bit of graphics, uh, numbers, where it's going to happen, time, date, and all of that, right? So that is a graphic banner that we're going to have. With this graphic banner, we're going to let them know what is the event name. That's point number one. Point number two is going to be that on which day, what's the date, and what is the time duration that we're going to follow. Point number three is we're going to explain what the event is all about. And in case you want to redirect people to any particular page of that event, right? Because there can be community events, there can be, you know, corporate events or small business event, gathering events, right? Home gathering events, there can be a bunch of different things. And if they have an official landing page for that, or if you are creating a landing page for that on behalf of them, then you can redirect people via this learn more link. So when they click on it, they literally go to that particular page. To it, okay. So that's super important. And that's something that you can do. Okay. So that's how you can duplicate and keep adding new events. And then probably if they are already gone, then you can delete them. But these, these are the events that you're going to add is going to be always about the events that are going to be upcoming, right? Anything that's already been uh, uh, done, you should be deleting them. And the recent one should always come on top compared to the oldest one, which is yet to come for a few months down the line, a few weeks down the line, depending on how your event uh, calendar is scheduled, right? I hope that makes sense. And not just that, we're also going to learn how to make this 110% mobile optimized so that the viewers are going to come up here, which is almost going to be in the mobile mode, almost 70 to 80%, depending on the use cases, you know, come uh, and visit via their phone. They have a great experience because everything is 110% mobile optimized, right? So everything will be taken care of in this landing page. So let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. In case you want to, uh, you know, or escape the hassle and you want to buy it, just go to ghltemptateshop.com where you will learn about uh, the templates that we are designing for our clients. A lot of a lot of you uh, have already reached out to me last year and the last last year as well. But I was just procrastinating a lot to not do design these kind of custom design funnels because they literally cost thousands of dollars for us to design in house. But then you want it as a template, so we have to reduce the price, and that's the reason why we're able to give it to you at such a convenient price so that you can have it for your own business. Right. This template is now available literally for a very, very basic amount, right? Very minimal amount. But just to let you know, right? So that when you go, for example, you're visiting the landing page a few months down the line, and if prices has changed, the reason for that is because this is currently a beta program offer, right? And pricing will be increased in the future for sure because of the uh, inquiries that we are getting. And of course, the uh, it, this entire site is what thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. And if you can get it for a fraction of that, you know, you are already winning it in, in, in business, right? So make sure you go through it just to buy this. Just make sure you contact me on Facebook or just send me an email that, Hey, Pritam, I want to just want to buy it. I'm going to share with you all the details about it. And then we can get started. By the way, if somebody is not aware of it, this is my Facebook profile where you can come contact me. A lot of you, a lot of you guys have been DMing me about tutorials, which you have been uh, going through. I'm really happy for that. Learn from our tutorials. Let me know how do you think of it. And I'll be happy to help you out in any way that's possible, right? Thank you so much. Let's get into it. So let's get, uh, let's get started with designing the events uh, landing page altogether. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do here is basically just duplicate the about section, right? 
the reason why we are, we are duplicating and not creating from scratch is because we have already done the hard work in our past videos sorry in our past uh, pages which i've seen in our past videos right and that's the reason why we do not want to again do it from scratch right we do not want to put the effort which already have been put and can be compounded over time and that's what we are going to focus on and that's what also i suggest you all to do it so that you don't have to waste our uh, time doing things again and again you know uh so that's a bit uh mood off in case you want doing it again and again but yeah currently it's going to be the events page so i'm going to click on these three dots and make sure that it, uh, it says events and not something else so events is taken care of and the forward slash again is going to be event which basically means the url uh, or the slug uh, that people are going to go for when somebody types in your restaurant forward slash events right i hope that makes sense it's going to update the entire page and once that gets updated which is already done we're going to click on edit and click on edit in a new tab so that we can go ahead and start creating this events page right so standing events page very simple to understand very clear right so let's get that done, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. As you can see here that we've already loaded the about us section, right? A lot of it will be used and a lot of it will not be used, right? So for this, let's let's change this to events, right? And let's make sure that this is, yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, then we want to add this text about the events. So I just want to add that as well. For that, I'm just going to duplicate this and add it here, right? so that's taken care of but as you can see this is only for desktop mode so i just want to make sure this is again for desktop and mobile mode and then since we already have a we already have a few line of text so i'm just going to add that here as well right so once that's taken care of we are going to just add it here like that i think and i think this looks stunning right the texts are very very easily visible it looks nice on the background photo as well oh yes i have to change the background photo here so let me just add that background photo where we can showcase about events. So as you can see here, the event photos and everything should be similar to what you're already doing it, right? Or what you already have. The theme should be similar. As you can see here, it's all about events. So event means food and people, right? People enjoying the food, right? That's what the event should showcase about. And as you can see here, people enjoying their food, enjoying their drinks, and you have the sizzling grilled, uh, you know, meat being served here or being cooked, right? So that's one of the things that we want to showcase here. Now it's going to be the event page here. The event is going to have a one row, two column structure where on the left hand side, we're going to have an image, which is going to be the graphic of the event altogether. And on the right hand side, we're going to have all the essential important content that should be placed, which I already described on the starting of this video. So let's do that. So let's change the photo here. We first have the cart photo here. So let's get that added in place. We okay, this is mobile and desktop, so I want to make sure this is mobile and desktop, all right? We also want to make sure that this is this comes on the top of it. So, so the thing here, as you can see, since the text is too much, right, compared to the uh, compared to the image height, so what it is doing is the column here is focusing the image to be at center line in comparison to the column here, right. The reason for that is very simple that we, here we have content spacing as center which should be left once it's left it's going to go to the top always no matter how much content you add here as you can see here i can add multiple pieces of content but still it's going to be on the top because of that i hope that clarifies because a lot of you had problems and confusions on that so i just thought i'm going to help you understand in the best way possible guys um so let's proceed forward to add the events of festival name so we're going to add that here all right just want to make sure that all of these are not bold so events or festivals perfect then we have something as the subheading in terms of showcasing the day the date and the time period of the entire thing so for that we are going to have one subheadline right and of course it's going to be white so make sure we do that and it's going to be left aligned so let's get them left aligned as well Cool. So since that's done, we are now going to add the text here. For some reason, when I copy and add the text, it automatically becomes bold. Probably a glitch by Go High Level. I'm not sure about it. But anyways, um, now I'm going to add this and make sure that we have the link section as well.
cool since that is already done we want to add an icon here can you see that we want to add an icon the arrow icon here because that the icon here is going to give a representation that hey click here right so that is super important so you're going to add an uh, icon here which is going to be an arrow and that's going to be this arrow just make sure the arrow is of the same color as the text so that's taken care of and in order to make it a link you just have to click on this and then add it right so we're just going to add pitham bhadra.com that's it find a window new window that's it new window and save it right so like this okay now since we added a link to it so we are also going to change the link color here to white right so let me just preview it and showcase to you how this is going to look like i think it's going to look pretty cool anyway um yep i think this looks fantastic and when you click on this it's going to take you to the page yeah of course because your domain is not added here so once your domain gets added it's going to go to that page but yeah um so that's the first thing and now it's very simple we're just going to come here duplicate 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 and all of that right that's pretty much the entire thing that is going to happen so let me just showcase to you again right so here we're going to just change the photo here which is going to be about burgers chicken burgers and all of that which i love so i'm just going to add that as well chicken chicken burger burgers and and coke so of course uh event or festivals i think that's pretty much the same i think all of the text are also same so that's fine we just want to change the images here uh then it's going to be the meat pink soap which is going to be this one right and at the bottom is going to be again a burger session so the burger is also needs to be added here so let me add the burger awesome so as you can see here we have added all the four events that were supposed to happen with bbq brothers and now we want to make sure that everything is 100 percent mobile optimized right as you can see the background image doesn't look that great so what you're going to do here is we're going to duplicate the entire background entire section and then we're going to make it one is going to be only desktop mode and the other one is only going to be mobile mode right cool that's how you can get a seamless uh, particular section so that you can make your changes according to your requirement so instead of making it 100 percent fill and width i'm just going to make it full center right uh, or uh, probably i'm going to change that into no repeat yeah I, th I think i like that because i can see people around it and i think that's going to be a better view uh, also i want to change the text here just to make sure that that is 14 pixels i think that's going to look good as well Apart from that, now we are going to be focusing here on these texts. So here we are not making any kind of structural changes. As you can see here, this is visible both on desktop and mobile. Since we are not making any kind of structural changes, I think we can go about this. So let's make that happen. Right here, the festival, we just want to make sure that we change the uh, the font sizes or spacing at max, which is supported by Go High Level. So no need to make structural changes. So you can make it 32 right so 32 pixels for that looks good uh what i just want to make sure all the headings here is now 32 so that we don't have to come back again and change it awesome looks great uh now the thing that we have to do here is submitting is fine uh this is also fine this 23 just want to make it 18 right so all the learn more buttons are going to be 18 now so just make sure that you're changing all of them as well one more thing that's very important i'm going to show you right now here is can you see one thing every single uh column here right has spacing of 40 margin and 40 margin so top and bottom has 40 and 40 pixels of spacing right same goes for the mobile section because we have we have not duplicated and make it mobile specific we are working on the original uh section right so any changes we make in terms of structure is now going to be implemented on the desktop by default since go high level does not support that at this point of time but go high level does support the margin and padding which is mobile friendly so in that case we just have to select the column here and just want to make sure that they are you know just make it 10 and 10 right that's pretty much 
what you want to do so just make it 10 and 10 and i think that should be perfect because 10 pixel is going to have some breathing room on top and at the bottom as well right so we're going to do this for all the columns here so as you can see here that's done the last one is still left so just make it 10 and the other one has 10 as well awesome uh now as you can see the entire thing looks very nice it's very 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 beautiful simple to understand as well now the one thing that we do not want is the extra section that we acquired from the duplicating the last section which is only mobile mode so just want to delete all of that right since that is deleted i think this looks beautiful let me just showcase you how the top section works or in the hamburger menu works i think that also works pretty well now we are going to just save and preview it so that you can see the final outcome and then uh, you're almost good to go. Awesome. As you can see here, we just created this and it looks 100% beautiful, right? And of course, 100% mobile optimized. So yeah, I think this looks vibrant. This looks beautiful. Uh, it has all the events, time, date, description and a lot more option. And you can always change that based on your requirement. I hope that you liked this video ladies and gentlemen because the next video is going to be super interesting because you're going to be working on the contact section or the contact page here let me just showcase to you uh sorry about that let's just showcase to you the contact page that we are going to do the contact page here is going to be all about details making sure it looks beautiful uh the visit our restaurants and all of that right and of course 100 percent mobile optimized so stay tuned for that so that we can get come get this completed on our last section. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.